Hello everyone, and this is episode 10 of my Let's Play of Minecraft. I am Fenox1707. You are you, and this is Captain Falcon. Yay, Captain Falcon. Um, I'm sorry it's been a while, but I've been pretty busy with the other stuff, and hopefully I can start recording more often. Um, I need, I, I need to stop saying the word um, so at the end of every video, I'm going to count the times I say the word um, including this time, and I'm going to just like write it down somewhere so that I remember not to say it as much. These are Fred and George. They are my replacement for Bill because Bill ran away, and I'm sure that these two will run away soon, but I might as well enjoy their company while they are here. We left off with two gunpowder, 37 iron bars, and a whole bunch of everything else. So, what I was planning on doing in this video was I was going to finish the roof up here and possibly expand downward because I like the idea of digging a house into a pot. Mining, or digging a house into a mountain. Because that's what I did in my original world and I like it. Actually, what's out here? We have a little bit of a porch out here. I, I did want to make a porch, so I could just use this as my porch. As a matter of fact, I think I will. What we need to do, though, is we need to set up porches along the top. That way, no zombies or creepers or spiders spawn on top of my porch. Because enemies spawning on top of my porch, not so good an idea. Oh yes, I um for this video and unfortunately most of the rest of my videos, I'm going to have no sound from the actual game. That doesn't mean that there won't be sound, it just means that, it, that all of the sound that I do use will be like soundtracks from different games and stuff like that. Because Usually, when I have the sound going, the sound from the game makes it so that you guys can't hear me, and as much as I don't like my voice, I'm sure that you guys are watching this and trying to listen to me talk about the game, and that's kind of an important aspect of the Let's Play, so I figure listening to me is a little bit more important than listening to the game, and thus... Um, there I, go, there I go again. I'm going to have to disable the sound for at least part of the game. I don't know why the sound isn't happening at all, because I was trying to say this that the sound was partially on, but oh, it's on peaceful. Okay, well now it's on normal. I guess I was playing on peaceful earlier on one of my other saves. My pickaxe broke. Well, I'm going to set up a few more torches before I go back upstairs. And I will go back upstairs to make a pickaxe. Oh wait, I have pickaxes. What am I talking about? Um, there I go again. See, I told you, I'm saying the word um way too much, and I thank Alexandra for pointing it out to me. And hopefully, by pointing it out to myself, I will be able to stop myself from saying it. What I'm doing here is a strategy called, I believe it's crafting over the void. It's where you kind of creep out onto the side of the edge, and you can barely see the edge of the actual cliff. And you can, you can build off that edge. Pardon me. But once you build it once, if you're doing it doing a giant layer like I am, it's you don't have to build over the edge, you can just build. Something I wanted to talk about because I haven't made a web blog thing episode in a while, is me and my friends are making a company. Or we are planning on it at least. 
it is going to be a video game company where we actually create video games, and we are also going to be doing, um, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of speedruns and let's plays and other gaming videos, tutorials, whatever you can think of. If it is a, vid a type of video game, video, video game video, we will be making it. We have a friend named Alec, er, bleh, friend named Adam who is creating a website for us, and me and Nick and Steve and everyone else are working together to create a game. The type of game isn't set in stone yet, but from what it looks like, it's going to be a turn-based game. I'm not going to say much more about it, because I don't want to give away too much. I don't know if we are going to have any type of, um, I heard any type of spoiler system where we don't want to reveal too much information about the game before it's released. But, needless to say, with the amount of work we're putting into it, it should be an awesome game. So, you guys can look forward to that. The company will be called Monday Night Productions, because most of what we do, all of our hanging out and stuff like that, happens on Monday nights. I thought it was appropriate enough. And thank you, Steve, for the name for that. Steve is pretty much the creative person on the team. He is very good with designing characters and, like, just in general, theory for games. And Nick and I are helping with the theory, but also doing a whole bunch of coding. We're doing the actual mechanics of the game. And in common, like, so we're all working together pretty much on most of it, but those are our individual roles as people, like we, um, it's, it's not like I'm, me and Nick are the only ones who code and Steve is the only person who comes up with ideas, but those are our general ro roles and we can kind of intermingle, I guess. It's, uh, really... Oh, hi, hi, Mr. Skeleton. It's fun. I, I have fun creating games. I have fun let's playing. I have fun speedrunning. I'm actually in the process of making a Super Mario Galaxy 2 speedrun. And by the looks of that speedrun, I'm going to have a great... Like, I, I should be able to make a lot of... Um, it should be a good speedrun, basically. I, uh... More us. Uh, I don't like it when I say that. Um, the rock. I'm sorry. Not perfect amount of sticks. I'm making a speed run. It should be really good because it's. I'm putting a lot of work into it. And it's going to come out great, in my opinion. It's already coming out great because I have, I already have one level which I've run in less than a half a minute. And the other levels, some of them are long, like I know that there was a level that I completed in four minutes, five minutes, and stuff like that. But all of the levels that I can do it, I'm running as literally as fast as possible making, trying to make pixel perfect, or I don't know if it's running off pixels, but you know what I mean, just perfect jumps and stuff like that to increase or decrease the time that it takes me to beat the game. And by the looks of it, I should have a really great speedrun going. I'm trying to beat the game in less than, what was it, less than four hours? Something like that. And if I keep going at the rate I am going, I should be in less than three and a half, which is even better, obviously. So, like I said, I'm having fun with it. I'm having fun with this. I'm just having fun in general. And that's, you know, I, that's important to me. I like having fun. I like doing things that I enjoy, and 
I'm glad that by starting these Let's Plays, I have kind of started our entire group on one track of mine where we're making videos in general. Because as far as I know, I'm the first person in my entire group of friends to make a video about me video gaming or about video games in general. Which I'm really happy for because, you know, our group of friends is a very video gamey group of friends. We play video games a lot and I figured we might as well do something productive with it. Use our many video game sessions and actually entertain people with it. I think it's a good idea. I hope you guys like it. Um again. Um uh, I completed my roof. There's nothing up here yet. I don't know what to put up here. If you have any suggestions, please let me know, because I am only one person, I'm only as creative as I am, which isn't very creative, if I may say so. I don't believe I'm very creative, at least when it comes to making lots of stuff like this. I am working on a, more, or a classic structure. In Minecraft Classic, I'm making a, what I like to call an upside-down skyscraper. It's literally an upside-down skyscraper. There is a giant building floating in the sky, and if you go to the top floor, it looks like the bottom floor of a regular skyscraper, where there's a lobby, and there's a whole bunch of uh, lights lining the entire place, and there's staircases, and a waterfall. But it is upside down where all of the desks and the people and everything are on the roof. So it looks really cool. I haven't done a lot with it yet because I've been, like I said, I've been pretty busy. But, um, uh, dang, um, don't like it. Once I get the more time to do stuff, I plan on finishing that, or at least making more progress with it. I really need some more, uh, I need more, what is this, cloth, because I, I have that mining system with my cloth. I also do need to make a way to get into my, uh, my, no, uh, I need to get into my mining system without actually going outside, so I think I'm going to start building a staircase here, because... If I can get into the system of the mining system without actually going underneath, that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Is there. Okay, there's. stone behind here, which means that I can dig here. If I can get into the mining system without actually going above ground, I can get there without facing any enemies. So, I need to figure out about how far away it is. Oh, hi, Mr. Spider. That is a huge spider. I don't like spiders. I also need a little bit more wood to finish my fence. Wow. It is riddled with enemies out here. There are tons of enemies. Anything over here? Nope, just a pig. And a zombie. Anyways, I don't like having to go outside to get to my mining system because it's just creepy. I don't like risking getting killed. And that means, like, if I can only get there during the day, it, will, it means that I can only get there during the day. Which is counterproductive because I don't like being idle. I like always having work to do, and not being able to access the mine at night means that I don't have any work to do while I'm at night if I don't have any cobblestone. 